The case is the physical shell that houses every component of your computer, acting like both armor and a framework. At its simplest, it's a box made of metal and plastic, but its role goes far beyond just looking sleek on your desk. The case provides structural support, offering designated mounting points for the motherboard, power supply, storage drives, graphics cards, and cooling systems. It also protects sensitive electronics from dust, accidental knocks, and curious pets or children. One of its most overlooked functions is airflow. Modern cases are designed with vents, mesh panels, and fan mounts that create a steady flow of cool air across hot components like the CPU and GPU. Without proper airflow, components would overheat and throttle their performance. Cases also come in different form factors, such as ATX, Micro ATX, or Mini ITX, which determine the size and type of components they can hold. Beyond function, cases allow for cable management. Channels and cutouts keep wiring neat, ensuring better airflow and a more organized interior. The power supply unit is the lifeline of your computer, quietly converting the alternating current AC from your wall outlet into direct current DC that your components can actually use. Every part inside, from the CPU to the graphics card, depends on the PSU delivering clean, stable electricity at the correct voltage. Without it, your shiny hardware would be nothing more than very expensive paperweights. PSUs are rated by wattage, which indicates how much total power they can provide. A basic office PC might only need 400 watts, while a gaming or workstation build packed with high-end GPUs could demand 850 watts or more. Efficiency is another key factor, represented by the 80-plus certification levels like bronze, gold, or platinum. A more efficient PSU wastes less energy as heat, which lowers electricity costs and keeps temperatures manageable. Most desktop cases house the PSU at the bottom, drawing cool air from outside. In laptops, the equivalent role is handled by a compact external power adapter paired with an internal battery. The motherboard is the foundation of your computer, the flat circuit board where every other component connects and communicates. Think of it as the central highway system that allows data to travel between the CPU, RAM, storage, graphics card, and peripherals. Without it, the individual parts of your computer would be like organs without a circulatory system, functional in theory, but isolated and useless. A motherboard contains several critical sockets and slots. The CPU socket holds the processor firmly in place, while DIMM slots house the RAM sticks. PCI Express, PCIe slots are used for add-ons like graphics cards or capture cards. Storage devices connect through SATA ports for HDDs and SSDs, or through faster M.2 slots for NVMe drives. The rear panel exposes external ports like USB, HDMI, Ethernet, and audio jack so you can connect your devices. Motherboards also come in different form factors, ATX, Micro ATX, and Mini ITX, which determine their physical size and compatibility with cases. Despite being relatively inexpensive compared to CPUs or GPUs, the motherboard is arguably the most essential component, since it ties everything together. The central processing unit, or CPU, is often called the brain of the computer. And for good reason, it handles nearly every instruction that keeps the system running. Whenever you type on a keyboard, move a mouse, open a program, or play a game, the CPU is responsible for processing those commands into actions. It does this through billions of calculations per second, powered by transistors that switch on and off at lightning speed. A CPU's performance depends on several factors. Clock speed, measured in gigahertz, GHZ, determines how many cycles it can perform per second. More cores and threads allow the CPU to handle multiple tasks simultaneously, improving multitasking and demanding workloads like video editing or 3D rendering. To keep up with these operations, CPUs generate a lot of heat, which is why they're usually paired with a cooling fan or even liquid cooling systems. Some CPUs also include integrated graphics, known as iGPUs, which handle basic visual output without a separate graphics card, useful for everyday tasks, but limited for gaming or professional graphics work. Random Access Memory, or RAM, is your computer's short-term memory. Unlike long-term storage devices such as hard drives or SSDs, RAM only holds information temporarily while the system is powered on. The moment you shut down the computer, everything stored in RAM is erased. Its job is to provide the CPU with lightning-fast access to the data it needs right now. Here's how it works. When you launch a program, your CPU loads parts of it from the slower hard drive or SSD into RAM, so it can be accessed almost instantly. 
This is why having more RAM allows you to keep more applications or browser tabs open without slowdowns. It's like having a larger desk to spread out your work. RAM modules are long, slim sticks that slot directly into the motherboard, typically installed in pairs to take advantage of dual-channel performance. Capacity and speed both matter. A typical system may have 8GB to 32GB of RAM, while high-end setups push even further. Faster RAM, measured in megahertz, improves responsiveness in tasks like gaming and rendering. Storage is where your computer keeps all of its data permanently, your operating system, programs, documents, photos, and games. The traditional option is the hard disk drive, HDD, a box-shaped device with spinning magnetic platters and a mechanical arm that reads and writes information. HDDs are inexpensive and can hold massive amounts of data, often several terabytes, but they are relatively slow because of their moving parts. Solid-state drives, SSDs, solve that problem by using flash memory chips instead of spinning disks. With no moving parts, they're faster, more durable, and quieter. Programs load quicker, boot times shrink, and large files transfer in seconds. Modern systems often use NVMe SSDs, which connect directly through the motherboard's M.2 slot for even higher speeds. The trade-off is cost, as SSDs remain more expensive per gigabyte compared to HDDs. Many computers combine both. A smaller SSD for the operating system and key programs, paired with a larger HDD for bulk storage. This balance offers speed where it counts and space for everything else. The graphics card, also known as the GPU, Graphics Processing Unit, is the part of your computer responsible for turning raw data into images, videos, and animations on your screen. While the CPU handles general logic and calculations, the GPU specializes in the massive parallel processing required to render visuals. This makes it essential for gaming, 3D modeling, video editing, and even modern AI tasks. A dedicated graphics card is essentially a computer within your computer. It has its own processor, cooling system, and memory, called VRAM, designed specifically for handling graphics. More VRAM allows it to manage higher resolution textures and complex visual effects without stuttering. Some systems instead rely on integrated graphics, where the GPU is built directly into the CPU. These are fine for everyday tasks like browsing or streaming, but struggle with demanding games or creative workloads. The GPU's job doesn't end with pretty visuals. It determines frame rates in games, smoothness of video playback, and the ability to run multiple monitors. Without it, your display would be sluggish, lifeless, and very limited. Cooling systems are the unsung heroes of every computer, preventing components from overheating while they perform millions of operations per second. The CPU and GPU in particular generate significant heat, and without proper cooling, they would quickly throttle their performance or even become permanently damaged. The most common cooling method is air cooling, which uses heat sinks, metal blocks with fins, to absorb heat paired with fans that push the hot air away. Thermal paste is applied between the CPU and heat sink to improve heat transfer. Beyond air cooling, high-performance systems often use liquid cooling. In these setups, coolant circulates through tubes and a pump, carrying heat from the CPU or GPU to a radiator where fans expel it. This method is more efficient, quieter, and preferred for gaming rigs or workstations that demand heavy workloads. Even the case itself plays a role in cooling by ensuring airflow, with intake fans pulling in cool air and exhaust fans pushing out warm air. Without a balanced cooling system, your powerful hardware would be like a sports car running without a radiator. Networking components allow your computer to communicate with the outside world. The most common part is the Ethernet port or adapter, which provides a wired connection to your router or modem. Wired Ethernet is fast and reliable, making it the standard for competitive gaming, large file transfers, or office environments where stability matters. For wireless convenience, many computers use a Wi-Fi card, either built into the motherboard or added as a separate component. Wi-Fi cards contain antennas and chips that let your computer connect to wireless networks without cables. While Wi-Fi offers freedom of movement, speeds can vary depending on distance from the router, interference, and network congestion. Some systems also include Bluetooth modules, which are technically part of wireless networking. Bluetooth allows low-power communication with peripherals such as headphones, keyboards, mice, and game controllers. Together, these networking components determine how efficiently your computer stays connected, whether you're streaming a 4K movie, downloading massive files, or joining a video call. Without them, your system would be isolated, cut off from the vast resources of the Internet. 
Beyond the main hardware, computers often include additional components that enhance functionality. One example is the sound card, which processes audio signals. Most modern motherboards come with integrated sound, but dedicated sound cards still exist for audiophiles or professionals who need higher quality playback and recording. Another once common part is the optical drive, CD, DVD, or Blu-ray readers and burners. While largely obsolete due to streaming and cloud storage, some desktop cases still include them for legacy use. Similarly, older machines sometimes feature floppy drives, now extinct but historically vital for storage and booting systems. At the firmware level, every computer contains a BIOS or UEFI chip, a small piece of software stored on the motherboard. This program runs before the operating system loads, initializing hardware and allowing basic setup. There are also expansion cards, such as capture cards for streaming, USB hubs for more ports, or RAID controllers for advanced storage setups. Each adds specialized abilities beyond the standard configuration. Together, these peripherals and extras round out the system, tailoring it to specific needs.